You know, nothing says welcome to your table like a nice antipasto. You might think of an antipasto as being like a salad. That's how we think of it in the United States. But really, it's just a little salami, salumi we say sometimes, some cheese, maybe some soft cheese, maybe some hard cheeses. And one of the things I like to do is put a little at each end of the table so people can pick and eat and choose what they like, a little bit here, a little bit there. In fact, I even like to have people come directly to that table as they come in, rather than kind of milling around. Just sit at the table. It's an unusual thing to do. It takes a little getting used to it. But once people start having their cocktails around the table and start talking and having a glass of wine, it just seems to flow from one thing into the next. Now, of course, in Jesus' day, they had a wonderful tradition. They didn't uh, sit at the table, like you see in the picture of the Last Supper with Leonardo da Vinci. They actually reclined at table, the Gospel tells us. They reclined kind of sat at low tables on the ground. It sounds like a nice way to have a meal. Here's something you might want to try for your antipasti. Um, you know, celery, I think, is very much overlooked, but it's very uh, much a key ingredient in Italian cooking and in antipasti. I'm going to put some nice olive oil over three chopped uh, celery stalks, a half a can of garbanzo beans. I put in some onion, about a half of an onion that I chopped up and some green and some black olives. Now, you can use white or red, any type of uh, Italian-style wine. Uh, a red wine is really good with this, too, especially. And then any kind of Italian seasonings, you know, uh, parsley, thyme, uh, oregano, uh, different ones like that. And you mix this together, and it's just a little kind of thing to say, hey, welcome to the table, welcome to the table. I like to serve instead of with traditional crackers that you might buy out of a box with some toasted bread that I've spread with a little bit of salt and a little bit of olive oil. And then that makes a lovely little welcome, the antipasto before the meal. Thanks for joining me. And why don't you share this with someone in your life? Till next time, God bless.